Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. We lead tonight with the Colorado fire, which is still at 55% containment, but the Highway 1 closure and evacuation orders, those have now been lifted for people. But some residents in that area say they're quite not ready to go home just yet. We have more on that in just a moment, but KION's Lisa Principe has more on what you can expect if you drive down into the Big Sur area. Highway 1 is now open to both locals and tourists, but there are still traffic controls you can see behind me and a lot of heavy equipment coming in and out. Cal Fire still has their helicopters here, and although those evacuation orders were lifted, some tell me that they're not ready to come home just yet. The roadblocks are gone, people are returning home, and tourists are stopping by to see the damage for themselves. But fire crews at the Colorado Fire are still on the ground and in the air. There's a lot of activity happening here, so if you come down here, you're going to reach traffic control points, and you're going to want to drive really slowly because we don't want any accidents. PG&E is also working to replace 14 power poles that were damaged in the fire. Crews say they hope to be done by Sunday. And also remember, this fire is still not 100% contained. There is fire activity still and hot spots. With all this work still being done, some are still waiting to return home. This man stopped by to check out his house, but he says they're going to wait a day for things to die down before returning. Cal Fire says this January fire was started by a pile burn that blew into vegetation, catching residents off guard. I think this is the first time it's happened in January that I can ever remember. I mean, yeah. it's always expected in like late summer, but never never in winter. Yeah, and especially because we just got a lot of rain mm -hmm. too, so it seemed like a really good winter. Cal Fire is still investigating and won't say if this was a permitted burn, but even if Smokey the Bear says fire danger is low, it doesn't clear the way for backyard burning. What we would tell people is to go to their local fire station, the fire station that's the closest to their residence, and find out what the rules are for their property at this time of year before doing anything. And I mean, the thing is, it might be different for this person. Down the road, it's different for the other person, so it just depends on your particular property. Reporting in Big Sur, Lisa Principe, KION News Channel 546. And KION still working on answering more questions surrounding this Colorado fire. Exactly what the communication was like for people in that area when it came to this burn, whether it was prescribed or not. Well, for those returning home, there's still that boil water notice because of potential damage from the fire and the power outages in the area. Water should be boiled for at least one minute before drinking until the supply is determined to be safe. However, Cal Am and Brandon Creek Mutual water company customers not a